All right, so today's gonna be a good one. I'm at Old Sled Works, which is one of my favorite places ever, 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 ever. Now, unfortunately, Sled Works is closing. Uh, I just heard over the weekend. So I definitely decided to make the trek out here today. Um, this might be the last time, which is pretty upsetting, but it's bittersweet. Um, today, I was lucky enough to get in contact with the owner who, spoiler alert, seems like one of the coolest humans ever. And not only am I gonna go shopping, but I'm gonna check out some of his personal collection. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm a huge classic car junkie, and there's no shortage of that here. So I am super stoked to get this day started. Man, I am like so upset this place is closing, but look at these. These are actually, um, I think they're from like a whole Howard set. I could be mistaken. Six bucks. This is gonna be my first thing I pick up for sure. And then look at all these like little celluloid dolls. Those are so sweet, $3 each. Hmm. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh, how did I not notice him? <laughs> I was so busy looking at the planters. Well, he's quite spectacular. Battery operated. He's got a great expression. Yeah, you know, I'm shockingly not that into battery operated toys, but what is this jar? That is so cute. I wonder if that's, there's no marking. Well, no, there's a little three on it. Hmm. Oh, look at this little cat hiding here wind up mohair that is cool that's a really fair price that's in really good condition too okay we got a little holiday nook here check out these santa clauses this one's pretty great twelve dollars that's a really fair price it's got a little damage though uh, that one's newer this is kind of pretty What's the snowman here? Look at how funny he is. Oh, it's a candy container. He's missing an arm, but still, that's pretty spectacular. Oh man, and look at this candy container. A clown, he's in like perfect condition too. $20, that's a super fair price. I'm not sure if I'm willing to bite the bullet on that one though. I got a hobbyist elf head cookie jar. That's kind of fun, I have one of those. And this soldier ornament, that's pretty spectacular. Five dollars, that's super fair too. Oh, I love these little ornaments. These are so funny. The snowmen are cute, but these little funny pixies are, oh, I love them. I'm gonna be super selective when I first go through because I have not been here in a long time. Look at the little reindeer, ah. And then the Santa Claus on the bike, he's missing his balloons. Whoa, look at these busts. Those are really fabulous. Pyramid Century. Oh my gosh, Rachel would die for these. What size are they? Those are so fun. And they're only $25, which is crazy. Hmm. Oh, are these Hosef Originals? Uh, yep, they are. A pair of $15. You know, I haven't had much luck, luck with these uh, flocked ones, though. I kind of feel like the fact that they're bluebirds counts for something. I'm going to keep looking, though. I might come back for those. Slag glass shoe. It's really pretty. Hmm. I got a discount in this booth. I'm trying to check it out. I love little deers like this. And then the chenille candy canes. Those are kind of neat. Oh, look at this clown lamp. I'm mean, clown lamp. Look at me. <laughs> Santa lamp 22. Ooh, look at you. Rubens. $12. Is there a discount in this booth? I'm being super cheap, but it's a really fair price. <laughs> this guy's funny. I like this dream pets. I think I've looked at him before. I was admiring that bone trying to deer in there, but it looks like his 
ears are broken. Well, they're running a 50% off sale in this booth. This is kind of the first time. Lots of Hazel Atlas. Nothing I haven't really seen before though. Um, can't sure how I feel about that. And then the Holt Howard, it's got the candle hugger, but it's only one and oh, as is. Yeah, I don't want to do that. McCoy, happy face mugs. I love those. And then the cookie jar, have <laughs> a happy day. How fun is that? I love the retro style of that. Whoa, look at these candle holders. Those are really phenomenal. Kind of wild shape. I really like that butterfly wall pocket too. Abingdon Pottery, $90. Even with the discount, I think that's pretty much retail on that. Look at that. I love those tin litho. I love the kitschy flowers on it. Whoop. Oh my gosh, look at me, I'm knocking into everything. <laughs> okay, um, I remember this glass for having like the best array of flag glass out there. This is so cute, I love these Fisher Price pull toys. This is one that's in really good condition too. Oh, so pretty. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> He's kind of fun. What, what, what has he got in him, though? I wonder if it says, Mean Santa. Wow, I really appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Christmas booth. It's a lot of ornaments and newer stuff. I try to stay away from a lot of ornaments, honestly. They're really easy to break, and things can go through a lot of uh, drama with me. <laughs> Look at the Santa. He's a fabulous one. I think he wor talks, yeah. Oh, doesn't work. I'm obsessed with this helmet. Vintage football helmet. It's, <laughs> it's kind of evil, evil Knievel style. Ooh, look at that bohemian glass. I have not had much, ooh, dang, it's got a big chip. I was gonna say I haven't had much luck with this stuff anyway. I personally like it, it's my own style. That's why it's uh, priced the way it is. Super into the old Schwinn. I love the banana seat. And the, it's got the original. Handle grips, those are awesome. I also noticed these Napco Christmas tree salt and pepper shakers. 22 is definitely uh, retail on that. They're in really good shape though. Normally I feel like the paint's all ripped apart. I kind of like this little vanity set here. Dresser set. Oh, look at this funny little mouse hiding in here. He's got real rabbit fur. Teddy bears, this guy's <laughs> Oh, he's seen better days. He's missing some of his fluff there. What is this? Oh my gosh, look at the expression on this guy. He is fantastic. Small American Teddy, $20. Oh, so cute. Oh, well, this purse back here caught my attention immediately. Look at how fun this is. It's probably expensive. These usually are. What? $7? It's like a steel and um, the plastic isn't even all ripped up. What's the inside look like? Oh wow, it's in like really great condition. I love that kind of see-through style for $7. That's definitely coming with me. Now I normally stay away from these little dolls because they are kind of a tough sell. However, I'm obsessed obsessed with their chenille outfits. Those are amazing. Wow. They're only $4.50 each. Okay, but also look at these koala bears. How fabulous are these? They say mice, but I think they're koalas. For five bucks, I'm gonna grab those. I've never seen them before. And I like the cupcakes, but those look new, yeah. Newer. Uh, they always have such fun salt and pepper shakers. Mm -mm -mm. Here's the deer ones. How much are these? Deers usually sell pretty well. Unfortunately, oh, there it is. I was just about to say they don't have a price, but they do. So for $5, I'm going to go ahead and take those two. 
Um, don't really see any other pair. The teddies are fun, but I've had those a couple times and they took a while the last time I had them. Oh, these clown bookends distracted me. How funny. Let's see. Ah. Oh, and they're, I think they're piggy banks too. Yeah. Clown bank bookends, $17.50. That's a really good price. I'm tempted to get those. This is kind of fun, this beaded basket here. Little hobbyist project. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on the clowns for now. I'm not even halfway through, I'm trying to be super careful. All right, a lot going on in this booth. I see mushrooms. I just had this set not long ago. 18 is about what I got for that after fees. This is a fun one too. I really like those. Oh man, the name of this is escaping me. The artist, or maybe it's on here. I just had a really rare wall piece by them that was super cool. Oh, I love this little soldier kitty cup. Five bucks. It's cheap. It's that weird plastic material. I don't know why I have such a problem with that texture. There's that stinking Brin's lamb planter again. Rubens, excuse me. No discount in here. I can't stand knowing this is just sitting around. No, no discount. For, for 31, I'm gonna have to leave it once again. I'm really surprised that it's still there. I remember I looked it up. It looked just like uh, the Brins one, but that one was pretty close to retail, surprisingly. There's a Brins version that sells for a lot more. Oh, wow. These are super hard to find. I wonder... What is happening here? Mug and girl, $5 sold. <laughs> um, yeah, these are supposed to, they're made in the 60s. They're supposed to hang. I have one in my Volkswagen. Man, that is so freaking cool. All right, what, what what's this mug I'm buying along with it? The miserable bug. Makes you look and feel younger because it sits there and looks like it's been around longer than you have. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about that, but uh, I'm sure I'll find somebody to give that to. <laughs> so I was kind of staking out, waiting for people to leave this booth, hoping they wouldn't spot this. This Roseville Pottery Cricket Planter, $22 and then 25% off. Uh, let me do the math, I think that's a really good deal. I had that once before, these are pretty hard to find. Yeah, so my last Cricut by Roseville sold for $54. Um, that, of course, includes my U.S. shipping fee, which I include on this. So for $16.50, I'm definitely going to go ahead and grab this guy. I love anthropomorphic bugs. I feel like they sell pretty well, and Roseville is a really nice pottery maker. Just making sure it's not cracked before I get overzealous here. Again, we got the Fisher Price Poodle. So cute. Even with 25%, that's more than I'd like to pay for that though. I almost thought this was a reproduction from far away, but it's not, it is marked Japan. It's got the spaghetti trim. For five bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. It doesn't have that kitschy face by Left In or Napco I love, but either way, um, it's a pretty great Christmas item. I feel like it will go pretty quick. And I'm surprised the wings aren't repaired. Yeah, it's even got the original dinger. I just did a little quick spot check. So far, I'm at $50, which is pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna keep on going here. Ah, what's this little angel? I was gonna say figurine, but it's not an angel and it's not a figurine. It's a little planter. This character is pretty hard to find. $5, okay, so why? What's wrong with her? It's gone. It's got a pretty gnarly hairline crack, actually. I'm gonna put her back. Here's that infamous pinball machine room. Gosh, this one's cool as hell. Love the convex bubble glass. Oh, funny mouse stapler. Japan, that's kind of neat. No, I was looking at these little cat salt and pepper shakers. Those are pretty cute. $8. Do they have both their whiskers? Ah! They are 30% off. 
Uh, it's missing a couple of its whiskers. Let me do the math on what that is right quick. So they're only like $5, but for some reason I'm just not that crazy about them. Maybe because of the whisker damage and I feel like I've just seen them before. I've had a lot of variations. There's that funny baseball guy. Let me see if I got on him. So that would be $7. He's pretty great. Ah, cat squeak. $13.15 off. Oh my gosh, so cute. Wait, look at these uh, kind of Mr. Toodle replica things. Hong Kong. I've had that set before. I have to do the uh, math on what this, I love the Santa picture, Ralpo. 22 that's probably pretty close to retail wow that witch is fantastic oh i love this wow that's amazing that's an older one too ralpo panda 20 bucks pass on that and this funny guy he's pretty cute ten dollars that's a pretty great price let me, um, you know what? Actually, now I am remembering, even with 15% off, I think that's going to be too close. Wendy. All right, we got more Happy Face mugs. That's McCoy. $19, 50% off, but it's missing the black paint. Oh my gosh, look at these little elf ornaments. How cute. Okay, I love this Santa ornament. I don't think I've ever seen it in an ornament like that. I know I said I normally stay away from ornaments, but at least these aren't the most fragile things. For $4, I, I kind of want this. And then the elf one, that one's only five. This one's five too. I think I'm gonna grab all three of these. It's kind of fun. So today I spent $64 in there. I got a rack of stuff and I am ready to just kick back and enjoy this beautiful 70 degree weather day in November, heck yeah.